Hey everybody, Ally Entertainment, and this week's movie review is on Spy. So if you're not too sure what it's about, it follows Susan Cooper. She's a deskbound CIA analyst and is the unsung hero behind the agency's most dangerous missions. But when her partner falls off the grid and another, another top agent is compromised, she volunteers to go deep undercover to infiltrate the world of the deadly arms dealer and prevent a global disaster. Some of the actors and actresses we have in this movie, first off we have Melissa McCartney, she plays Susan Cooper. I'm sure you guys have all seen her around, she's been in so many movies and she is absolutely funny. And she, if you guys didn't know, she kind of has this uh, signature, every movie that she's in she always has her husband play some funny cameo in this movie and I absolutely loved it because I was waiting waiting and waiting and waiting and finally they showed the little cameo and he was in it so I absolutely loved that part and then of course um, some other actors that you guys might know we got Jason Statham, Rose Byrne, Jude Law, Allison Janney, so the budget for this film was $65 million and so far that it's been opened in theaters it um, grossed over $144 million. I'm guessing that's partly because the trailer looks so funny and every other movie that Melissa's been in has been absolutely worth it to go see. So when I first saw the preview come out for this movie, I was like, sweet, a Melissa McCarthy movie. I absolutely love her. She's absolutely funny. But then I kind of got to see what it's about. And I don't know if it's just me, but I am totally not drawn to spy movies. I find them a little boring. I don't know. I don't know. But you know what? I was just like, you know what? I got to give this movie a chance. The trailer looked absolutely funny. And again, you know, I, I, I loved the cast, so I'm like, all right, let's go. So I got to the theater, and I gotta tell you, I was presently surprised. It was funny. As soon as the movie just started, it, it just, it drew my attention in. Some movies, you know, you find you can go in, and you can be like, yawning, this is boring, when this is over. Um, this was a two-hour movie, but honestly, they just kept kind of the comedic, action going and one thing about this movie that really surprised me is one of the supporting characters Jason Statham you usually kind of find him in a lot of action movies where he plays like this serious guy I found that he was pretty funny too it was kind of cool kind of seeing him go out of a shell he um he was a CIA agent as well that got compromised he just was funny and his reaction to things, and it almost seemed like he wasn't the brightest bulb in the packet. Um, and from the beginning, when I saw him and Melissa McCarthy's kind of interaction with the characters, this is kind of a little bit of a spoiler, but it doesn't ruin the movie, you guys. At the, at the beginning, I called that they were totally going to hook up. And, of course, they absolutely hooked up in the end. Um, as soon as the movie finished, it kind of went to a little bit of credits, and then they showed an end scene with uh, them in bed, and he's just like, she's like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, and he's like, he's like, oh, shut up, you know you enjoyed it, and I just thought it was absolutely funny. Looking through some of the reviews, a lot of people gave it an 8 or a 9 out of 10, saying that's probably one of the best com comedies that they've seen this year, you know, I, I definitely can agree with them. And they're also saying this is definitely a movie you guys want to check out in the theater. I mean, you can always wait until it, uh, you know, until it comes to movie, but I don't, I don't think you guys should wait that long. Uh, they absolutely loved the cast. They said Melissa McCarthy was absolutely awesome. And there, there, that it was very funny in practically every scene, and um, people are excited to see the sequel. So, kind of, you know, um, 
I guess, hinted that it was uh, going to be into a sequel. So, you know what? I'm, I gotta say, I am definitely looking forward to watching a sequel of this. Um, I got not much else to say other than, you guys, it was an awesome movie. I loved the cast, so I would have to say, out of my five fingers, I would give it a four and a half. This is definitely one movie I will definitely try to see again, and one movie that I am excited to see a sequel to. So, I hope you guys liked my little rant and review on this movie, and definitely check it out. And you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. And I hope you guys have yourself a great night.